Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another Police Academy LSP for tutorial. Today guys I'm going to be showing you how to install the new and updated Grammar Police which has been updated not too long ago and we're going to be installing Immersive Dispatch. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install Immersive Dispatch Grammar Police, how to manipulate the files and how to actually talk to dispatch within the game. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, both links are down there for Grammar Police and Immersive Dispatch. Click the one down there for Grammar Police, guys. It is going to bring you to this page right here. This is the new version 15014. Um, this is a brand new version by Opus. Uh, let's go ahead and click download this file right here, and then click Agree and Download. And then you want the one that says Main File, which is 15014. Uh, click Download on it, and put this somewhere where you know how to get to it. Moving on, the next one is going to be Immersive Dispatch 1530 by Officer Pope. Uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, click download this file, agree and download, and then you want the one that says 153. That's the one you want right there. Click download here. Once you've got them downloaded, guys and girls, let's get into our installation. Now, if you've been following my Police Academy tutorials, then you should know how to get to your main directory by the shortcut. If you don't, go back and watch my first video, okay? With that being said, for those who have been following me, right click on your file explorer and find your G5 main directory right here. Okay? Once we have this, we're going to open up our Grammar Police WinRAR. We're going to double click on that folder, double click on Grand Theft Auto 5, and then you want to highlight every single thing in this file right here, including the Rage interview UI as it is up to date. You want to drag these and you want to drop them into your main directory. Just like that, it's going to ask you to replace the Rage. The RageNWI.dll. Once it does, go ahead and replace it. I'm going to drop all this in right there. Go ahead and replace it. And there we go. Once you got all that in, guys, go ahead and refresh the file and then close out of that and get rid of the shortcut. All right. Open up Immersive Dispatch. All right. Double click on the file. Double click on OP Immersive Dispatch right here. And then you want to highlight everything in here. We do not need the rage in .dll, so hold down your control key and D, select that. Just grab the plugins in the LSPFR folder, pull it into your main directory, and drop them in, okay? There it goes. Now keep in mind, um, and go ahead and, uh, if it asks your replace thing, guys, just go ahead and, and replace it. Just go ahead and replace it. If it asks you. If it, if it doesn't, don't worry about it. Um, all right, so let's close out of that and get rid of that shortcut now keep in mind immersive dispatch will not create a 9i file until you go into the game okay so we will not have one until we go into the game uh let's the first thing we need to do guys in our main directory you should be in steam apps common grand theft auto 5 okay we want to scroll down until we find our player location display which is right here our pld this is pld configuration setting you want to open that up okay and right here where it says local position te uh, text, local text position X, and then you want the one that says local text position Y equals 1035. Sorry about that, guys. You want to highlight the 1035 and type in 950, okay? This is going to change where our player location display is, and we're doing this for a very good reason, okay? Once you've got that, go ahead and click File and click Save. All right, then we can refresh. And now in our main directory, we want to navigate to plugins. You'll now notice you have an LSPFR folder. All right, you want to go to LSPFR. And then you want to go inside the Grammar Police uh, folder right here. Okay. Uh, now, for those who are installing Grammar Police the first time, which you should be if you're watching this tutorial and you're following my Police Academy tutorials, um, if you do not see any of these files right here, or maybe um, if you don't see any of these, go up here to view. And make sure that your file name extensions are unchecked because if they're checked, a lot of times it will hide some of this stuff, okay? So always make sure that your... <coughs> sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> make sure you go into view on your files and make sure the file name extensions is unchecked, okay? That way it doesn't hide anything that you might need to see, okay? With that being said, we are going to open up this default file, okay? Now, I know this says do not edit this file, but we're going to edit it, okay? Because I've tried this a couple of different ways, 
I tried it the way that it was recommended to be. I, I did it the way it was recommended, and then I came back and did it the way that I always done it before, which was obviously editing this default file, okay? Um, but I will explain all that later. Now, uh, right here, guys, where it says call sign, okay? And you see where I'm highlighted at right here. Make sure you leave the quotations. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to do. So my call sign is 1Adam7. Now, your name needs to be in caps, okay? Mine is 1Adam7, so I'm going to go over. I'm going to erase that 8 and 1 and just put in a 7. Now, as you can see, I have my call sign put in, which is 1Adam7. Now, your first set of numbers can be 1 through 10. <clears throat> your last set of numbers can be 1 through 24. Your name for your call sign can be A through Z. So, Adam... Boyd, Charles, David, Edward, Henry, Ida, King, John, um, Mary, Nora, Ocean, X-Ray, Zebra, Young, etc., etc. You guys get what I'm saying, okay? That's what your name can be. It's one of those. Um, anything from A through Z, okay? Uh, now, down here where it says agency codes, this is new. This is new in um, Grammar Police, okay? So... There's a few different ones you can use. You can use generic, you can use met, and you can use immersive, okay? And you can also use California. So if you wanna go by California 10 codes, you would highlight this and just type in California in all caps, okay? Um, if you wanna use met, you would type that in. Immersive, same thing. We're gonna leave this at generic for right now because the generic is what we are used to, okay? That is the basic 10 codes of the game, all right? Now, right here, enable speech recognition. This simply works through the speech recognition on your PC. So if you want it to pick it up, I highly recommend leaving this at true, okay? And, I, and I'm going to leave it at true myself because the one thing that we, had learned, uh, that we have to learn how to do when we set up grammar police and mods like this where we talk to vocal, where we talk through, uh, vocal dispatch, where we talk to dispatch is it's very important to set up our speech recognition through our PC. It really, really helps. It does, guys. And there's another trick I'll show you before we go into the game. Uh, so now down here where it says um, dispatch key right here, all right, it says right menu. Now, right menu is just simply the right alt on your keyboard, okay? So I'm going to highlight mine, and I'm going to change mine to zero because I like mine to be zero, okay? Um, the interface key, this is the, um, this is new as well. Now the settings key we're all used to, that's the settings you hit and it pulls up the, the window that says grammar police, allows you to set your sounds and all that. Now this window right here, um, what we're going to do is since we have our trainer on our, um, F3, we're going to change that three to a five. Okay. We're going to change it from a three to a five. All right. And now, so your interface control will be left control F5. Now, if you're, like I said, if you're following my police academy tools from the get go, then your mods will not clash. If they clash later on down the road as we install plugins and open IV modifications and all that stuff, we'll come back and change it, okay? But as for right now, we're going to set it like this, okay? Uh, the next one settings key F2 and left control key, uh, leave that the way it is. Now, down here is very important, okay? A lot of you may want to use these. These are hotkeys, all right? These are hotkeys. Um, so hotkeys are like keys you can hit to talk to directly to dispatch without saying a word, okay? So for example, if you are clear on a call and you want to go code four and you're saying dispatch, show me code four, but she's not responding or she's not understanding, you can set a hotkey here. Uh, say for example, um, and if you can set it with numbers or letters, but if it's a letter, just make sure it's capital, okay? Make sure it's a capital letter. So, for example, if you're saying dispatch, show me code 4, 1041, 108, and she's not understanding you, uh, you can put a hotkey here where it says clear key, and if she doesn't understand you, you push that hotkey, and, you know, you can code 4. So, with that being said, if you guys want to set these up, you can. Um, traffic control stop key is a new feature in Grammar Police. I've been working with that. I'm not really too sure on how that works yet through Grammar Police, like talking to dispatch itself, but we will go over and game through the menu, okay? Um, so down here, um, and like I said, you can also set hotkeys for these as well. Now down here where it says buttons, this is simply for controller users, okay? If you want a dispatch key on your controller, you're more than welcome to put it right here. I don't put anything on my controller rarely. 
uh, rarely anything on my controller. So moving on down to display, which is where we are right here, guys. Now we want to go up here where it says show notifications equals true and highlight that true. And you just want to hit left control C. C is in Charles because we want to copy that, okay? Then you want to go to the one below that that says show player status equals false. Highlight the false and hit left control V. V is in Victor, okay? It's going to paste the word true. That's what we want. Do the same thing of the false below that. Left control V. And now right here where it says status text position X, status text position Y. You want to highlight that 388. We'll just highlight the 88 and type in 78. And then you want to go down to the next one where it says 1025. Highlight the 2 and the 5 and just put in two zeros, okay? That's where we want our, um, our status at, okay? So moving on down here. And this right here, guys, your status text scale, that's the size of your player status. And we'll adjust that within the game itself, okay? Now, hold the talk right here. Very important. Hold the talk function is simply for when you're talking to dispatch. Um, if you're talking to her, she will not respond until you release the talk key if you have this set to true, okay? I highly recommend setting this true. So highlight it and hit control, left control V, all right? Moving on down here. Now, these sounds here we'll go over in game. Um, because I have to be in game to show you what they sound like. Um, the rest of that is fine. Um, let's see. Uh, we, we'll we go over these in game as well. Um, generic response right here, guys. Use generic response equals false. You want to highlight that false and hit left control V. All right, because we do want that set to true. Now, what a generic response is, what is that? A generic response is pretty much, you can say anything to dispatch, she's just gonna say copy that. So if you're saying something and she doesn't really understand you, then she'll just say 10-4 or she'll say copy that. Um, so I would recommend using this because if, if you're like me and you really like to role play, and I'll say, um, for example, I'll say dispatch, uh, show me on a 10-11, uh, eastbound Marina Drive, vehicle's gonna be a black four-door sedan occupied times one, okay? So if she doesn't understand all of what you're saying, at least she will say 10-4 and it seems realistic, okay? So I would recommend leaving that at true. Uh, panic response back here, guys. This is our backup right here, okay? So panic response. That is the number of backup units that will show up for uh, you when you hit the panic button, okay? When you when you talk to dispatch, say shots fired, shots fired, uh, the panic will go off and they will send five police cars. Now. I don't know the max number you can put. If it were up to me, I would put like I would put like 10 cars because if I'm going to call for a panic response, it's because I really need it. It's because I really need it, okay? Uh, moving on down here. Um, let's see. I'll sit back up air false. So we can leave all that the way it is. I think everything else is good. Um, yes, so everything else is good. All right. Now, what, what we're going to do... Um, because once we go into the game and we open up our grammar police file and we click save configuration, it's going to create another custom INI file in this pathway right here, okay? So once you got this done, guys, go ahead and click file and click save, all right? So the way we're supposed to do it is we're supposed to highlight this before we manipulate it, right click, and we're supposed to copy. Now don't do this, I'm just showing you what we're supposed to do, what we were supposed to do, all right? And then you're supposed to go in here and left click, right click, and then paste that copy in here. Then you're supposed to then you're supposed to edit that file and rename it to custom.ini, which doesn't make any sense to me because when you go into the game and you hit and you hit save configuration or grammar police menu, it creates a custom ini file anyway. So I just to me there's no point in that. I don't you know if I'm stepping on somebody's toes or I hurt your feelings, you know uh, whatever you know. Sorry but not sorry. But this is how it works for me. This is how it's worked for thousands of other people that's watched me do this. Um, so this is how we're going to do it. Uh, with that being said, guys, go ahead and go back. And again, remember, Immersive Dispatch will not have an INI file until we run the game. And we will go over that in the, in the game, okay? So let's go back. And let's go ahead and refresh our file and close out. Now, one more thing I want to show you that will help your Grammar Police and Immersive Dispatch 
um, tremendously. It will help it tremendously. This is what you want to do. You want to go to your Windows key and you want to go into your settings or wherever your settings are. Once you are in your computer settings, you want to go to system and you want to go to sound. Now your output device right here, this is very important. This area right here is very important. Your output device is simply what you are listening through, okay? But the important part of this menu right here is your input device, all right? Because whatever microphone that you are talking to dispatch through, you need to set it right here, okay? So if you open this up, you will see, if you've got like three or four different microphones, then you're gonna see those options for microphones. As you can see, I've got my Yeti selected because that's what I'm talking through is my Blue Yeti. And as you can see, it's picking up right here. Now, if you ever need to test your microphone, right here it is. You can select the microphone through your input device and then start talking. And as you can see, check, 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 check. Right there it is, all right? So set this input device to the microphone that you're gonna be using to talk to dispatch, okay? With that being said, let's go ahead and go back, close out, and I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna go into the game, guys, and I'm gonna show you exactly how these mods work. Uh, th the purpose of Police Academy, guys, is not only showing you how to install these mods and how to manip manipulate the files, but I'm also gonna be showing you how to be a realistic police officer in LSPFR. That means making traffic stops, writing citations, taking people to jail, reading Miranda rights, um, you know, talking to dispatch. We're gonna be going over all that today. Well, talking to dispatch anyway. Anyway, guys, let's fire it up. We are clear to save and launch, and I will see you all inside of LSPD. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so once we are loaded into the game, uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull over, I'm gonna pull over right here. All right, now, we are gonna access our, our, our new menu first, which is gonna be left control F5. All right, that's gonna bring up this menu right here. It's gonna have advisor, on the menu it's gonna have advisory, Backup, interaction, pursuit, and request. And then status right there, okay? So this is your status. So let me go over each and everything with you guys here. So advisory is gonna be like, if you wanna tell dispatch there's a fight going on. If you click this. I'm just, there you go. And show ask the back. And you'll say, negative. Okay, so no backup required. Now, same with the other things. Person deceased, person injured, suspect in custody, suspect lost, visual and suspect. You just click those and it will um, it will tell dispatch what you need. So if you see a person dead, you can say person deceased. Uh, on over to backup. Now this is your all your backup. Code two, code three, felony stop. It's all here, guys. If you need to stop, need all this backup right here, it will call for backup. I don't know if it will here. Okay, so yeah, we have to have ultimate backup. Some of the features that we have, guys, in Grammar Police, we're gonna have to have uh, ultimate backup and stop the ped for, and that will come in another tutorial, okay? All right, let me go back into that. And then we wanna go over to interaction. So, in other words, affirmative, negative, cancel check, situation normal. So if she calls you and does a check-in, uh, you can say cancel checks and she'll cancel the checks, okay? And she won't, she won't check on you no more. Um, affirmative just means affirmative just means 10-4. Negative just means uh, no, and affirmative just means yes or whatever. Okay. On over to pursuit. So this is your this is your uh, pursuit backup. So if you need air support, right there's the chopper, pit request, roadblock, spike strips, and then on over to request right here. This is to request your animal control corner, EMS fire. K9 unit, ped check, plate check, radio check, ticket number, tow truck. Uh, and keep in mind, we cannot call for tow truck until we have stopped the ped on the backup installed, okay? And I will go over all this grammar police stuff with you again once we have stopped the ped on the backup installed, which we might do those next, okay? That might be our next tutorial. I don't know why I keep closing out of that. Now let me go back up. And on over to status, this is your status. So if you're 10-8, you can go available. If you're busy, you click busy, clear, you pick clear. Everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, returning to station. Uh, and one of the features I did want to talk about is that we have a new feature in Grammar Police that when we have a suspect in the car and we radio to dispatch, say dispatch, show me returning to the station. They will automatically set a waypoint to the nearest jail. And I'm gonna try that out while I'm in game to see if it works, okay? Because we did leave that set to true. Um, so, I believe we did. I hope we did. <laughs> I think it's set true by default. 
Uh, let's go on over to traffic. This is your traffic menu, so if you want to stop traffic, all right? Attention all units, officer requesting traffic control near Hallwick. All right, so traffic control is stopped. Now, if we want to clear the traffic, we open it back up and go to clear traffic. Attention all units, traffic control cleared. All right, now, what would I, let me see what I would have to say to stop the traffic. Dispatch, stop traffic. Okay, so you say dispatch stuff. Requesting traffic control near Hallwick. So I would have to say to clear it. I would have to say dispatch clear traffic. Attention All right, so there we go. Traffic control. Well, that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty cool, man. That is pretty awesome right there. Um, uh, and back to advisory guys. So now let's exit out of this and go to our other menu, which is going to be left control F2. Now this is going to be our menu where I said that once we save the configuration. It is going to set a custom INI file into the pathway of plugins, LSPFR, Grammar Police. Okay, so the pathway we're in while I go editing that file, it's going to set a custom INI file in there once you click this right here. Okay, so let's go to display settings. And this right here is now let me let me say this right here versus text position Y at 136. Do not move that. We have it set at a thousand. By default, we have a set at 1,000 in our INI file. If you move that, it's going to knock it off. You're going to have to go back into your, into your INI file, and you're going to have to um, set it again. So this is just from what I've tested, okay? Now, text scale size. This is the size of your status. So if you look down by your player location display in your mini-map, you will see something that says status, right? If you take this up, I like to take mine up to six so I can see it because I'm going blind from getting old. Um, but now up here, show notifications. You want that on player ship, show player status, which is that. You can turn it on and off. Show target plate, which is on and off. Target plate is when you get a plate check and it will show the plate number in your status right there, okay? So let's exit out of that. Go to PTT settings, guys. This is our sounds, okay? Hold the talk. We want that left to yes. Push sound. This is going to be your push sound when you talk dispatch you push that dispatch cue okay so this is eight seven six five four three two one now i personally like eight all right now release sound is when you let go of the button that's the sound you're going to hear so six five four three two one i'm a fan of number two okay i like number two <laughs> Uh, now, preface response. So, preface response is going to be what dispatch says to you when you talk to her, okay? So, when you say, when I'll show you guys. One Adam. This is dispatch. Okay, so that's preface response one. Now, if you go to two. Go ahead. All right, that's what she'll say when you talk to her. One Adam. Go ahead. All right, now, number three, she's going to say this. One Adam. One Adam seven. So one will sound like this. This is dispatch. Okay. Two. Go ahead. Go ahead. And three. One Adam seven. All right. So set that whatever you want it to, guys. And once you're done, you want to go out and you want to go down. Now, now keep in mind when you click save configuration. You're gonna see at the bottom of your screen, it's gonna say, save to custom INI file, okay? Here we go. Save grammar police configuration to custom INI file. That custom INI file, when you exit out, will be in your grammar police folder, guys. And if I remember, I will exit out the game and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about, all right? Let's open that menu back up. Um, immersion settings right here. Um, there is your enabled jail waypoint. So it is set to yes. Um, you always want handle availability set to yes. That way, um, Grammar Police can handle all your calls. So we'll just say, for for instance, if you're out of service like I am, you will not get any calls. But the minute you go 108, the minute you go 1041 108, you're gonna start receiving calls. Okay, uh, so always leave those um, on yes. Enable traffic stops. Dispatch will prompt you for details and drivers. So what this is for is. For example, if I do a traffic stop and I have this set to yes, when I say 
Uh, dispatch, show me on a 10-11. Uh, I'm going to be eastbound, uh, Rockford Hills, vehicles, yada, yada, yada. If you have that set to yes, she'll respond with, go ahead, or whatever you have your preface set to, okay? And at that point, you will get the details of the car, tag number, how many times the vehicle's occupied, all that good stuff, okay? So I'm going to set mine to yes because I do like the realism in that. And we'll try it out both ways. We'll, we'll t put it to yes and no. Um, handle death, clear callouts, pursuits, and player status up on player death. Now, I think this is very important because the player death, what this does is let's just say we're on a code. We're on a, um, a code. Let's just say we're on a call to a shootout. A police officer needs backup because a shootout is taking place, okay? And let's just say we're on a call for that, okay? And we get shot and we get killed in the line of duty, all right? If that is set to yes, once you die, it will code for you from that call, okay? But if you have it set to no, then if you die in the middle of that call and when you respond, you'll still be active in that call. So I would highly recommend for the realism setting this to yes, okay? Because once you die, I mean, when police officers, you know, get shot in real life and they go to the hospital or whatever, they can't just get up and come back to a call. That's not how it works. You know what I'm saying? So set that to yes, guys. Um, this is officer check interval. Um, this is how often the dispatcher will check in on you. I recommend leaving this at zero because it can be extremely annoying for the dispatcher to check in on you. Okay. And we have a setting like this in immersive dispatch too, which we'll go over in just a second. Uh, generic response. We've already went over that. So once we got all this set, we are going to, let's go up to an attempt to initiate pursuit. Pursuit action will attempt to initiate pursuit. So let's say you have somebody pulled over and they run. If you have this set to yes, the game, Grammar Police will automatically initiate the pursuit, okay? So leave that set at yes. Once you got it, cl uh, go out and then go down to save configuration again. All right? Let's open the menu back up. Go down to backup settings. This is all your backup, okay? Um, officer backup when calling for air support. Offer backup when calling for air support. Um, we will go over these in a little bit. I'm pretty sure. Um, so for right now, we do need these on yes, guys, because we do not have stop the pad and we do not have all the backups. So go ahead and set these to yes for right now. For right now, okay? Because this will use the vanilla um, air support, backup, investigating, you know, taser deployed. It will use the vanilla, okay? So set those to yes, go back, and save configuration. As you can see, it's saving to the custom INI file that is now created by itself in the grammar police folder all right let's open that menu one more time use natives all right now use natives is stuff like um your natives is for your vanilla so we want to set these all to yes all right i believe it's and if it's if it's wrong guys if it's wrong then i will change it back and we'll we'll, we'll change it differently okay go down to save configuration Open the menu one more time and click reload configuration, okay? Now, we've got that set, all right? Immersive dispatch is going to be your L key, all right? Now, right here in your menus is immersive dispatch. There's uh, dispatch, this is your, if you go to the main channel and switch over, there's priority, uh, TAC1, EMS1, Fire1. Uh, this has different channels that you can be on, okay? So it's pretty realistic. They've added a lot of stuff to these, these uh, these plugins, which is pretty awesome. Um, menus, dispatch. Uh, here's your status. It's code four, code six, 10, five. This is all your basic 10 codes right here, guys. You want to go over your 10 codes? This is the best way to learn them right here, okay? Let's go back up. On over is going to be advise. So um, you say dispatch advise that there is a 10, 10 in progress, which is fight in progress, okay? Uh, on over, uh, this is all... Um, Request so request for backup request for radio check Dispatch requesting 10 to Attention all units officer requesting backup near, See that's not what um, I said now sometimes she'll understand you and sometimes she's not going to Understand you okay, so let's go ahead and go on over but that's what that's what all that's for guys That's what all that is for all right, so uh, I think that's it. This is your check-in menu saying I'm okay. I'm okay. Can check because I require assistance. Uh, pursuit status, safe to continue. Not safe to continue. So you can discontinue a pursuit like that. 
Um, and that is pretty much it. Now we want to go down to the settings right there. You want to go back to your immersive dispatch menu, go down to settings, and you want to go over to settings keys. Okay. Now right here, um, actually let's go down one. Uh, these are all your hot keys right here. Okay. So if you want to enable these, you can or disable them. If you want to disable them, you click on them, click enter, click enter again to disable. Just uncheck all the boxes like this by hitting enter and then backspace and out like that. Backspace, enter, enter, backspace, enter, enter, backspace, and etc. I don't set hotkeys because my grammar police and immersive dispatch usually work pretty good for me, knock on wood, okay? Um, and then once you're done, you wanna click reload settings. Now we're gonna hit that L key again. You're gonna, now gonna have two sets of settings. You wanna go down to the second settings, okay? Click on that. And then if it's not showing up here, go over to settings keys and go back to settings functions, okay? Now, the first thing we want to do, we want to click enter, and we want to change our call sign to the same thing that it is in Grammar Police, okay? So, let's go ahead and click enter and click enter again. And again, just change this to whatever your call sign is in uh, Grammar Police, okay? You want them to match, all right? Because by default, they're going to call you one Lincoln 18, all right? So, we're going to do one Adam, and it's going to be seven. Now, once you're done, click enter, all right? Hit backspace. And then go down, and here's your panic button. We do not need the panic button for um, immersive dispatch. So click enter and disable it. Well, let's go like this. Key. Why did it do capital? Why did it do that? Let me do it again. All right, so we're going to do... All right, let me just leave it like that. Don't don't worry about that, guys. Don't mess with that. <laughs> just go to active and disable it like that. Okay, just just uncheck the box and hit backspace. Uh, the Axon body camera. If you want that sound on, you're more than welcome to keep it on. I personally don't like it because I don't I don't use a body cam yet. Um, so I'm gonna disactivate deactivate mine. Disactivate Jesus. And then we're gonna go down to standby function. You definitely want this off. Standby function is very annoying. When you call dispatch, if the radio is busy, they'll say, stand by. And it's so annoying. I cannot stand that. All right. So if you guys want it set, you can leave it. But if not, uh, officer check-in, very important. Go ahead and disable officer check-in. And uh, let's go backspace. Everything else, I think, is good to go. And then once you're done, click reload settings, okay? And that's it, guys. Now, let's go ahead and let's initiate a traffic stop. Let's get somebody that's already moving, like this guy right here. Perfect. All right, now we're going to go ahead, guys. Now, listen to me very carefully as I do this. And he's probably, every time I do a showcase, somebody runs. There it goes. Every time I do a show in-game showcase, somebody runs on me. Every single time. Dispatch requesting air unit. I guess we're gonna see if the air unit comes in and there he comes there he comes to the so the so it is using vanilla which is a good thing affirmative see that guys it bro I will I'm telling you man get out of the car man Put him in takedown mode, guys. Y'all should know how to do that if you watched my first tutorial. Don't you move! Don't you move! All right, we're gonna arrest him. And we got him. Let's go ahead and close this door. Let me cut my sirens. All right, he's gonna get in, and we're gonna we're gonna try this here, guys. We're going to try this returning to station. Let me squeeze through here. Dispatch, show me returning to the 1019. Now let me try one more time because it might need to say something else. Dispatch, show me returning to station. And there it is, guys. It set a waypoint to the it set a waypoint to the nearest jail. That is super Bro, you got to be right there, man. You got to be right there. Get out the way, my man. Like, that is so cool that it's at a waypoint of the nearest jail. That is super cool. I think Opus did a really good job on this, um, 
on this new update, man. That's pretty awesome right there. So we're gonna, I'm not gonna take him to jail or nothing like that. But anyways, you guys get the gist of how that works. Let's go initiate another traffic stop here so I can show you guys what I'm talking about with the plate check and all that. I do want to show you guys everything here. All right, and initiate. So we're gonna pull this car over, and I want you guys to listen to me as I talk to the to the dispatch, and how everything works. Okay, here we go. And role play. One Adam. One Adam seven. Now remember, guys, we set our preface. I set my preface to that specific preface, so she's gonna answer me like that every time. Dispatch, you can show me on a ten eleven. I'm gonna be northbound Mad Wayne Thunder Drive. Vehicle's gonna be a uh, black tornado convertible occupied times one. Roger, one. Okay, she show me on a mill break. That doesn't make any sense. Dispatch, you can show me on a traffic stop. Go ahead. Okay, now she's gonna ask the details again. She's gonna ask the details again. And at this point, you're gonna give them the details of the vehicle, which I already did that, but we're gonna do a plate check this time, okay? Dispatch requesting plate check 07 Victor George Jr. 995. Target license plate 07 Victor George I like saying 1011, that's what I'm used to. That's always worked like that before. I don't know why it's not doing it now. Uh, I might need to change the generic, generic response to immersive. That may be what I need to do. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, now Immersive Dispatch, we kind of went through that as well, guys. Um, I mean, Immersive Dispatch is pretty much the same thing right here, guys, is all your 10 codes, like I said. We want to go like this. Dispatch uh, suspect is 1015. Attention all units, suspect in custody. All right, so that's suspect in custody. One item seven is transport required. Negative. You would say negative, guys. I, I kind of didn't say it right. Negative. 10-4, copy. All right. So, now, if we need backup, okay, I'm going to call for backup. Dispatch requesting code 2 backup. Green 2, we're in the area. All right, now, if you want to change your animation to the way that your guy talks through his, through his uh, walkie-talkie, See how mine's on my shoulder? If you hit the M key on your keyboard and go down to police radio and go to action right there, you can change it from shoulder to chest to earpiece to handheld to none, okay? I got mine on my shoulder, so that's the way I'm going to leave it, all right? So, um, let's see. And there comes our backup right there. Now, I'm trying to figure out how to release the backup. Dispatch, you can show me code four. Units, all right, now I want you to go go for backup will leave. Well, there's a grand that are all right there, guys. We can take that. Dispatch, show me in route. Now, if you do it like that, guys, you'll automatically accept the call. If you do it through grammar police, when you get a call like that and you say, Dispatch, show me in route, it will automatically route you to the call, okay? But you got to do it before the call ends, okay? Before, like by the time she says, by the time she reads the details of the call, you need to be saying, Show me in route. Um, it's another pursuit though, so we're gonna go like this and terminate pursuit So for example, if I go like this I go to police radio I'm gonna request a call and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. There's a certain amount of time you gotta say show me en route All right Officers report a 148 in All right, so right about now you want to do it Dispatch show me responding code 3 See that that's without hitting any keys guys that's that's that is strictly through grand vision. So back on the desktop here, I did want to show you guys. Uh, I almost forgot, but I did want to show you guys uh, about the grammar police, how it creates its own custom INI file once you save it inside of the game. Okay, so if you go back into your main directory, your GT5 main directory, and you will uh, now also notice since you've installed, uh, you know, clear the way V, uh, a player location display, and grammar police and immersive dispatch. Follow my tutorials. Um, you will now notice that you have a logs file, okay? Right here. All right, now, 
Um, with that, I'm sorry, this, this comes from Rage, not, not those plugins. This comes from Rage. You can delete those. If you're not having any problems with your games, you can always just highlight those and delete them safely, okay? Just make sure the logs are the only thing you have highlighted, okay? Now, going into here, let's go to our plugins and let's go to LSPFR and let's go to Grammar Police, all right? Now, again, see what I'm saying, guys? It created, now, now before we left this file, remember? There was no, there was, uh, there, there was no custom file. We didn't create one, but the game created one for us. Therefore, I don't see the point when we first installed this in highlighting this. You know, we're supposed to highlight it, right click, and then copy, and then left click, right click, and paste this, and then name it to custom I and I, and then put it back in here. I don't understand why we're supposed to do that if it creates, if it creates its own custom I and I, okay? Uh, so if you go into the custom I and I, guys, you will see that it is everything that we have, um, that we've used. So, um, I mean, there it is, guys. There it is. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Let's go back to our main directory. And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen, for this tutorial. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click all so you know exactly when I post new content and when I go live as we do live stream five days a week here on the Criminal Justice Channel. Uh, there, there will be a lot more Police Academy tutorials coming up, guys. For those who don't know, we are going from base mods through all the plugins, callouts, and open IV modifications. We're going to be installing vehicle packs. I'm going to show you how to make your police lights real pretty and bright. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install different sirens, different gun sounds, different guns. Uh, you know the new, you know different uniforms. I'm gonna show you how to be a police officer through this entire thing and how to make your game as realistic as possible. We're even gonna be installing graphic mods. My recommended graphic mods. Okay. Uh, so with that being said, I love you guys so much, man. Until next time, stay safe, stay awesome, and be humble. I will see you all in the next video.